right, brothers and sisters. Today is uh, Sunday, December 1st, 7.43 p.m. And uh, I'm sitting here and I'm reading my Bible and remembering about all the stuff that Jesus went through to get me to where I am today. Uh, the sacrifice that he did so that I could be a better person today. And uh, we should always remind ourselves of the things that Jesus did, of the love that he has for us. You know, uh, reading Matthew chapter 26 about Jesus praying in the garden, and God put something on my heart to share with you. I don't have a title for this, but we'll call it um, Of Victories One. <clears throat> He knelt on the ground under the moonlit sky, wondering to himself, do I really have to die? He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and within his prayer he said, Abba, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as your will be done. You see, the Father had a plan. Of victories won. For the Father to be glorified through the obedience of the Son, so that when we call upon Jesus, we shall all be made one. His sacrifice was necessary to wipe the slate clean, to bring man back to God. Jesus is the bridge in between. You see, you guys, as we prepare ourselves for this Christmas season, and we just, uh, <clears throat> Thanksgiving just passed, we must always be thankful for the gift that God has given us, and that is being in right standing with Him. You know, and that could only be possible through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. But not only the sacrifice, but also the resurrection. You know, so keep your eyes focused on God and continue to read your word. Continue to soak your mind and your heart into God's word. And he will continue to bless you. You guys have a beautiful day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.